boom here they are after four months of use i've worn these things every single day so the fact that i'm touching them on the bottom is disgusting but anyway let's dig into the things that i love the things that i hated before we jump into that icarus did send me these shoes i did not pay for them however i'm going to be as open as honest as possible because if you watch my first video in the note that came with the shoes the person who owns this company said hey i need you to be brutally honest with me because i want these to be the best shoes ever i don't want you to be nice and tell me if they're good because if they're not good then why are people going to buy them why are people going to wear them so i will start off with the things that i absolutely did not like about these shoes now when i first got them you see these things they kind of looked like clown shoes to me i was like these are big they're gonna look weird you put them on and point of view you're looking down at your feet and you're like i i should get a red nose because i look like a clown luckily not from your point of view from other people's point of view they actually look nice they look normal they kind of look like you went to uh, whatever shoe store you shop at and you got some nice white shoes so over time i got comfortable looking down and seeing that they looked big because in pictures and videos they they look fine i will say the front of them has, has gotten absolutely smashed and beat up because of how big they are in the front you know normal shoes are a little bit narrower and this part isn't getting smashed but because they're so wide there's just a lot of surface area bending and stuff Anyway, um, yeah, so also something that bugged the crap out of me is the tongue slipped and slided and it never stayed like nice and perfect on the right shoe. The left shoe stayed nice every time, but it just slipped and slided too much for me. Uh, I will say I am extremely impressed with the durability of these shoes. And also I'm going to clean these shoes. I haven't done any cleaning to them uh, recently. I would sometimes I would wipe them because I literally wore these. I would wake up in the morning, I'd put my shoes on, I would go for walks, I'd go for runs, I would go out to dinner with these shoes on, I would go to the gym, I would do snatches, clean and jerks, deadlifts. I did the entire CrossFit Open in these shoes, I did quarterfinals in these shoes, I went to Wadapalooza, I didn't compete, but I did so many memes in these shoes. So I've done everything there is to do in these shoes. And again, I am extremely impressed. I have fallen in love, like I said, with these shoes because of the durability. They do look cool. They look way cooler than if I was wearing a Nano with jeans on, which I'm wearing jeans right now, which is, you're probably like, why are you wearing jeans? But anyway, um, the laces also stay tied, which I've ever, every CrossFit shoe I've ever had, the laces don't stay tied. These laces stay tied. And I have done over 50 rope climbs in these shoes. And the only thing that has happened is barely a little bit of stuff right there nothing on this side so the cool part is let me look at my notebook because i wrote it down um they're extremely durable the stick there's the stitching around it is just absolutely um i don't even know what the name is it's not it's not weak stitching it's strong strong af stitching and then someone posted that they have a cemented outer and inner i don't know what that means because i'm not a shoe expert but what i'm expert at is how comfortable my feet are in this shoe and this is by far one of the most comfortable shoes i've ever worn and I have seen a video or two talking about people don't like doing CrossFit in these shoes, which I have no idea why. Extremely durable, extremely stable. You've got three different insoles that come with them. I thought before these shoes, I had the I had Vivos. And I was like, these are the best shoes in the whole world. I'm never going to wear another shoe. Icarus reached out. They're like, try these shoes. And I was like, I'd love to try the shoes and I'll give you feedback. And then again, the first day, I was like, I'm never going to wear these thick insoles. So whack. Uh, and then after I was wearing the thinnest insoles, I was like, you know what? I told this person I was gonna actually test these shoes out. Let me try the other insoles. I was missing out because you get the benefits of a barefoot shoe with a cooler look than like a normal workout shoe. And then you get the insoles that it feels like a normal shoe, but you still have your toes be able to splay out. Now, I have had a few friends pick up these shoes and they told me they put them on. They're like, they don't really feel that much different. And I said, they're not gonna feel different until you put on your shoe that you used to wear. So before this, I was wearing the Vivos and the Nanos. I'd wear my Vivos for walking around, and then I'd wear my Nanos for when I did CrossFit. I tried to put my Nanos on, and it literally feels like someone is squishing my toes. But in these, I feel like I'm walking on a cloud where my toes can be splayed, and I feel more comfortable. So yes, these shoes have been absolutely incredible. I would recommend these shoes to literally anybody. They do not currently have any sizes below um, eight, but they're going to go to six, I believe. I'm going to read this letter that he sent me. Um, the owner of the company sent me that way you can get all the information that I have about these shoes and check this out. He sent me these, uh, they're not my size, but just so I was able to show you guys, look at this. Boom. The new 
colorway that's actually coming out. And now this is the version one in the new colorway. The actual shoe is going to be the version two. So he's taken all of the feedback that he's gotten from everybody he sent the shoe. Um, my feedback, feedback from the internet. He actually wrote me this entire thing. And if you really are curious, I'll read it at the end of this video so that you can know exactly what to expect for version two. Uh, and he also told me, hey, Rolo, if you want to do a giveaway, you totally can. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram. So go ahead and check out my Instagram, which is I'll do it from meme for time. So <clears throat> meme for time, baby, go to at meme for time, M-E-M-E-F-O-R-T-I-M-E. -E -E. um, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some Icarus shoes there. <sighs> Hands down, best shoes I've ever worn. I don't think I'll ever wear another shoe. They're super comfortable. They're super durable. The only thing that I would not do in these shoes is run more um, than three miles. I, I don't I don't have any running. This is my dog. I don't know if you can see her in the frame, but it'd be weird. My hands are moving down here, and you're like, what's going on down there? <laughs> it's my dog. Uh, so I would also get a running shoe. These are not good for running, but no other than a Nano or a Noble shoe. You're not going to be running three to five miles in those shoes, but I wouldn't mind running a 400 or an 800 in the middle of a workout. Yeah, totally fine. So that is my four months into this shoe. I am not going to wear any other shoes. I just can't get myself to do it. I've tried to put dress, suit, dress shoes on to go out so I look a little bit fancier, uh, and it's miserable. So I've worn one dress shoe to go to a wedding because I couldn't wear these with my suit. And other than that, I haven't put another shoe on since I got these. I've loved them. If you have any questions specifically, I'm going to read this letter so it might answer your question and stay. If you were just coming to see what I thought about the shoe, you got everything you needed to, and you actually saw the new colorway here. So let's read the letter. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Sizing, we're switching to unisex uh, sizing approach. We will run from a woman's US 6 all the way through a US men's 14, including half sizes, which they did not have before. Our updated sizes will be slightly wider and should fit true to size compared to this initial release. These seem to be about a half a size too big. But there's going to be a sizing guide. Make sure you check out the sizing guide before you decide. Um, if you are sh not sure after even looking at the sizing guide, feel free to DM them on Instagram or send them an email, and they will help you to determine the perfect size for you. Worst case scenario, they send you a pre-packaged thing that you can send the shoes back in. They also have a 100% satisfaction guaranteed. I read that somebody had the shoes for two months. They wore them. They did everything in the shoe, and they just didn't really like them, and they sent them back, no questions asked. So if you get this shoe and you end up not liking it, you can send it back. You're going to get your money back. There's no hassle in doing that. The lace loop, and this is some of my feedback here. Based on some of the feedback, the tongue would not stay in place. It fell to the side of the shoe. So we added a lace loop to the tongue. The loop will anchor the tongue in the center of the shoe and prevent it from falling to the side. Thank goodness. Can't wait for the version two. Shoelaces received feedback that the shoelaces were too long. To be honest, I double knot my shoes because when I do rope climbs or any CrossFit stuff, if I do not double knot my shoes, they will come untied, and then I am spending time in the middle of the workout tying my shoes. So I actually like the long laces, to be honest, but for those people who don't have that issue, good to go. You got shorter laces, I'll probably just get another long pair of laces. Uh, here you go. Leather. These, like I said, were already extremely durable, but although we already used premium full grain leather for the initial production, we source an even higher grade leather which should be even more durable, contain less natural imperfections, and decrease the likelihood of cuts and scuffs. So like I talked about with the front of the shoe here, how it's kind of scuffed up and the cracks, um, we know, hopefully we're going to get less of that. And like I said, I'm going to clean these shoes so you can see what they look like uh, cleaned after wearing them straight for four months. We are modifying the paint finish of the leather to make the paint more durable and resistant to, uh, to the wear. And this should improve the durability of the paint, making it less likely to scuff or rub off. Insoles, we increase the density of the 3mm zero drop insole. It will be less flimsy and more durable. We changed the flat 4mm insole to a more durable cup sole design. This three-dimensional structure will be more durable, secure, and won't roll up under your heel like the original 4mm insole. We also increase the density and also it's more dense. I want to make sure that you know it's denser. Uh, we decrease the thick 5 to 11 millimeter insole to be 4 to 9 millimeter. The inner heel will be closer to a zero drop and also allow your foot to sit deeper in the shoe for a more secure fit. 
Uh, secure fit-wise, I have not had any issues with these coming off. I've ran, sprinted, jumped, like I already told you. You can actually go on my Instagram and see. I've literally done everything I can think of in these shoes, including hiking, traveling, etc. We also increased the density of the thick insole to provide the same amount of cushion and a smaller form factor. Uh, all the insoles will be color coded. Red, yellow, green, will make it will, which will make it very easy to quickly identify the level of cushion. You also get a pair of toe spacers and shoelaces. And that is everything that you need to know about this new release that's coming out generation two. If you uh, want to go grab generation one, you can use my code, code ROLO. Like I said, these have been my favorite shoes. If you scroll through my Instagram, you'll see that I haven't worn anything else, and I don't plan on it. And if I could recommend you getting these shoes, I would 10 out of 10 recommend, not just because they have been so nice to me, but because truly I have not found a shoe that I can train in that is more comfortable and is more, I don't even know, like a chameleon. You know, you can do anything in them. So that's my entire review on this shoe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will continue giving updates on when Generation 2 will be available. Go on their website if you're interested. And uh, that's pretty much it. You want to see my dogs? They're really cute. And there's the dogs. See ya.